Why is crypto so strong? If you want the answer to that, subscribe to this channel. Turn on alerts so you know when we're going live. And if the content works for you, hit the like button. I'm Bill Noble, and I'm here to tell you why crypto is holding up with equities down and bonds down. As of the recording of this video, Amazon announced 18,000 layoffs. Salesforce announced 7,000 layoffs two days ago. The recession is here. It officially started today. We don't have to wait for it to show up in economic data. Equities have several problems. One, earnings are going to be weak. Two, economic growth is going to slow. That's already showing up in the numbers. So stocks have another problem. Interest rates, instead of falling are still rising because the Fed, for some reason, is still talking tough on inflation, right? First, they were behind the curve on inflation. Now they're going to talk tough right into a recession. That's causing interest rates to rise. There's another mysterious cause of rates rising and bonds falling. Japan is in trouble. Their bond market is in trouble. Humongous Japanese banks and insurance companies own not only Japanese bonds, but U.S. bonds. They can't sell the Japanese bonds because they'll destroy the market. So what are they doing? They're selling their U.S. bonds. They're selling their U.S. bonds while they can. What does that mean? That means they're selling while there is liquidity, meaning the ability to buy and sell. You're like, Bill, wait a minute. I mean, when I go to E-Trade, there's that you know green button for buy and red button for sell, and that doesn't automatically mean it gets done right. That's what I'm telling you. In other words, there isn't a right or you're not guaranteed to have a buyer on the other end when you sell and vice versa. So big companies are like, hey, we got to sell something. Let's sell the U.S. bonds and let's sell them now. So instead of rates falling to help cushion the blow of a recession, rates are rising, hurting stocks. And like I said, the Fed in its genius continues to talk about higher rates when they should shut up. So stocks fall, Tesla crashes, bonds fall, rates rise. Meanwhile, crypto holds tough. I'm looking at this price action and I can remember a day when equities, S&P futures down 1% would mean Ethereum was down 5%. Now, equities go down 1% and crypto's like, eh, it shrugs it off. Why is crypto strong like Arnold? Easy. Crypto realizes that the Fed is eventually going to realize the folly of their behavior. The market is going to teach them, right? You'll have an equity market shock in March probably, and again, possibly in September. Equities are eventually going to recover because like, like you said, the Fed's going to wake up and crypto is telling you the Fed's going to wake up. Go back to 2021 when crypto topped. Crypto was way ahead of the Fed tightening cycle. Crypto at this time is bottoming because it's way ahead of a Fed easing cycle or a Fed chill out cycle. So this whole higher interest rates for longer bunk is just that. Crypto is holding. And when the gymnastics end, crypto is going to do better in January. It may dip in February, but crypto should remain stable. Crypto is stable. And the reason crypto is strong is because the answer to the question of where does all the money go, it goes into alternative currencies like crypto. It goes into commodities like gold, and it is eventually going to go into commodities like water. Stay tuned for more on crypto and water.